There is a powerful figure on this roof, and it's united the villagers in rebellion. Posted on TikTok by Toddy Catalina, this scary video shows a large, dark figure dominating this rooftop. Anyone who dares near it seems to be blown back, either by her power or from fear. Watch. <laughs> All those who try to reach the roof fail, and the figure doesn't seem to be bothered by them. They're even throwing things at the figure, but with one great pop, she disappears. Is this dark magic in the round? I'm not sure if this was a witch or some other mysterious creature, but I am sure she's managed to traumatize these villagers for life. This recent video of an unidentified flying device was sighted in New Mexico. It looks like a disc-shaped object until one of the lights breaks away. What the? What? Then they all briefly flicker out before lighting back up in a new formation. Is this some kind of special military flare exercise or what? I think I'm gonna go with what, and by what, I mean extraterrestrial life. A spirit pulls a member of the YouTube team, Casa Sobre Natural, down a staircase in this scary video. Upon first entering the haunted place, they hear something, and they discover a rope tied to a wooden beam overhead. <laughs> E a corda continua aqui, aquela corda, cara, que tinha aqui, ó. Credo, Parecia que uma pessoa tava querendo se enforcar. Is that a news? As they continue their search of the place, they hear a voice. Escutou a voz aqui, ó. Olha lá. Escutou a voz? Credo, Sandro. They hear something again and start to head upstairs. <laughs> but they soon wish they wouldn't have. <laughs> What just dragged this crew member down the stairs? If it is indeed a spirit, I wouldn't be following it downward. It may be leading this team to the fiery depths below. Things get scary on the open road. This is yet another case of a driver gone a little too ragey. The video is self-explanatory. The Mercedes driver gets out of his car, carrying a metal pole, but the driver is on his toes. Putting pedal to the metal, he speeds off-road and leaves the would-be assailant in the dust. In my opinion, it doesn't matter what little driving infraction happened in the lead-up to this scary incident, no one should spring from their vehicle with a metal pole with the intent of getting revenge. Some ghosts just want a little attention. This one apparently isn't getting enough. Published by Jeff Miller in April of 2018. Watch closely as this ghost takes his revenge in this family's kitchen. Something flies off the wall shortly into the video that the uploader says is a picture. Having heard the disturbance, the home's resident enters the frame, heading into the kitchen. Chin. Did he come face to face with his ghost roommate? Unlikely, but maybe he should take things.
the hint, the roommate wants the house to himself. Two friends are live streaming in Malaysia when some of the scariest moments of their lives are caught on camera in front of all of her followers. Shadows swirl overhead and the door slams shut even though they are the only two people home. When she looks back, her friend is no longer the same person who she's always known. If you look closely, you can see she grabs a cross out of her purse. As soon as she touches the object to her friend's arm, she screams as if the object burns her to the core. A couple other points for my final analysis. When the lights go out at 1 minute and 7 seconds, you can see a shadow person walk into the room. This shadow was caught on live stream and apparently is not special effects. Two, they are listening to some really creepy music before all of this scary stuff happens. It doesn't even sound like a song, just a slowed down chant of some kind. What is this person saying and is this related to what happened to her friend? She seems very scared when she ends the live stream, and most people seem to agree this video is both paranormal and real. Mountain biking into bed is every adventurer's dream, but that dream soon turned into a nightmare of a serious situation for YouTuber BKXC. Posted to his channel in November of 2018, the mountain biker's GoPro captures the stunning landscape of Tibet as he conquers the treacherous terrain on two wheels. The slippery but stunning ride across the biking boardwalk is enviable. Soon the bikers go off-road, bucking through rocky dirt and wet grass. Just as he's careening through the ladder, you can hear what sounds like a horn. This image that has seen millions of views online makes the creature look like an unknown entity with monster-like features. Oh. But it's not. It's a yak making that noise, or maybe the sound of a bike coming to a screeching halt. The biker jumps off his bike as the terribly large beast spots him, makes like he's going to run off, but then has second thoughts turns back and half attempts to charge the man. The biker puts his bike between him and the yak. Not a very sturdy barrier, admittedly, but that seems to be enough to keep the yak at bay. To be fair, yaks are considered friendly animals and are not often aggressive towards humans. They're also the world's highest dwelling mammal, living at heights of 18,000 to even 23,600 feet above sea level. Still, you probably wouldn't want to run into a 500 to 1300 pound creature in the wild. And the biker doesn't take any chances. He stands his ground while his biker buddy passes by, holding the great beast off until his friend is in the clear. Then he slowly backs away while the yak stays in place. He hops on his bike and makes his escape. One covet to riding in the most beautiful backcountry imaginable. You must contend with massive horned beasts. Have you ever feared you're living a walking nightmare? Titled Daymares, this video is posted by YouTuber Ghosts of Carmel, Maine in October of 2017. The video begins with a short explanation that reads, When faced with the unknown, alone and frightened, call it Daymares. The 20 minute video opens with a pic of a shadow person appearing in a photo taken in 1906 which also shows the YouTuber's house. The YouTuber says this paranormal figure has been showing up a lot within the past months. The YouTuber then shows evidence of these instances with video footage of the shadow man standing in several places in his home, including silhouetted by the light of the window. He writes that he has a theory who this shadow person is. The man was short. In fact, people used to make fun of his height when he was alive, making him an angry ghost of eternal bitterness who haunts the living through fear. A few clips show the ghost grinning at him in the darkness. 
One night, there was a lot of paranormal activity going on in the YouTuber's house, including walking and banging. As he takes video footage of his dark home, he asks who was making so much noise. They were walking around the bedroom all night long, making noise. I even heard rattling sounds. Banging, who was doing it? On occasion, he captures what he describes as yelling in the background. Well, was somebody down here yelling? At one point, when he says hello, he is answered. Somebody down there yelling? Hi, that. He hears strange talking and heads downstairs to see if the TV was left on. After discovering it's off, he places the camera on the ground and leaves it there in an attempt to capture the yelling. He leaves the house altogether, but a neighbor starts mowing the lawn, drowning out some of the noise. However, some moving sounds were caught on the video. At some point, the camera is knocked over, which the YouTubers suggest could only have been done by something paranormal. After this, the YouTuber returns upstairs to capture some more footage. When he turns towards the door, there is some movement. He says it appears as if clothing is being pulled out the door. But after turning the light on, he finds nothing on the landing or downstairs. He returns to the bedroom and says the shadow person is in the window again. There is indeed a shadow there, though it's oddly shapeless. Then, something rather solid seems to fall inside the room. He thinks it went under the bed, but all he finds beside the bed is a small teddy bear. Does this video make you a believer in this haunted house? If it does, get ready for some certain daymares. Nature can be horrifying, so horrifying that it stops you in your tracks. But for this one, you'd better keep moving. This footage certainly shows something unexpected in the forest. In the beginning of the clip, you see a couple hurrying into a boat off the edge of the forest. It's clear that they're trying to escape something, but what that something is, only your imagination can hypothesize for a moment. Is it a monster, a bear? As they pull away from the shore, the camera zooms back, and an incredible ruckus in the forest is revealed. It's not a monster or a bear, it's a mudslide of epic proportions. The mudslide takes out all the trees in its path, bending them to its will. They come heading into the river as land topples over them, tossing whole trees like Lincoln logs in its wake. The camera swings back around to the small boat with a couple abroad, showing that they just barely escaped the mudslide's path. Logs from the slide continue to rush towards them, buoying all around the lake as the speedboat drives off. According to Global News, the landslide at Johnson's Landing in British Columbia was being reported on in July of 2012. That's when they caught this second mudslide on camera. Would you be able to move this fast in such a situation? Or would you freeze in a silent scream? I think in a situation that intense, I would be nothing short of terrified. This paranormal investigator regularly observes the Savannah Theater. This is one of the first videos Redditor Background Ad 6785 captured there. Look at how much it slows down. That's so insane. Wait, Do you see the thing flying around? Look how much it slows down. Yeah. That's so and the insane. Why does it slow down so much? Some in the comments think it's dust or a moth. I do think both theories are likely, but I'd prefer to think there's something more mysterious happening at the Savannah Theater. What presence is roaming around Donna Mary's house? Published by Chris L. Luna in April of 2022, the ghost hunter captures the spirit blowing onto the scene as a seance is being done. The spirit then directly falls over those present, including the seer. 
guías por sendas de justicia, por Doña amor a su nombre, cállate, amor a su nombre, aun si yo voy por valles tenebrosos. A presence is again sensed in the background, in what is either a window or a mirror. Something again passes by a window. As they communicate with the ghost, this appearance is more clearly visible. Do you think this is Donna Mary herself, or is some darker evil presence? Two YouTube ghost investigating groups team up for this video, but they find something even worse instead. Because you know for a fact that's going to catch everything down there. It already looked bad when they first found it, but the flames are as twice as wide and twice as tall by the time the authorities arrive on scene. They have to be diligent as they lift the rubble up to check for signs of flames in the middle. If they miss a single burning patch, this whole situation could happen again tonight. When the first responders leave, the team checks out what it was. Someone who was putting this entire forest at risk so they could burn trash. When they thought burning it was safer than dumping it is beyond me. They were either extremely foolish, didn't care, or were trying to do it on purpose. Perhaps all three. Anyone who's still in school has no doubt learned by now that remote learning is not very fun. However, every once in a while, something will happen to liven up the lesson or in this case, make it absolutely terrifying. This teacher has been cooped up all by himself for far too long and really doesn't seem to be enjoying his job or much of anything nowadays. To make things worse, the students keep playing a joke on him by saying that there is something watching him from behind. He knows that students like to mess with their teachers however they can, and so he tells them that it's just him and his dog living there and no one else. Little does he know how truly wrong he is. Around the corner is the pale grim face of a ghost, half covered in shadows as it peers in from the dark hallway. I wonder if her other side is twisted and disfigured. We never get to see. In true paranormal fashion, the scary face dares not to enter the light and retreats before its discovery. The teacher goes on to explain that he just moved into this house, and so there's no way anyone is behind him. But once again, he is schooled by the supernatural. The door opens without anyone touching it, and as the girl retreats into the next room, his dog, who has been quiet this whole time, starts barking out like a stranger is near. It whimpers as he closes the door. The poor thing definitely doesn't want to be left alone. Vorkuta was a coal mining settlement during the Soviet era. It has since become a semi-deserted wasteland. Published by Vagabond, this adventure seeker went to check out the ghost town at the end of the world. There is roughly more than 200 people. On the background of such amount of abandoned buildings, an active mine looks surrealist. Traveling there by train, the only accessible means of transport to the area, he encounters the first steam engine that ever appeared in the area in 1944. The once thriving city was served by 13 coal mines in its heyday, where workers received a good salary and twice the pay they might back home due to the added northern coefficient pay directly across from clean bright offices or empty derelict buildings. Other empty structures are topped with massive piles of snow. Atop an enormous nine-story building is a phrase that translates to glory to the conquerors of Arctic territories. Vagabond also takes in the coal miners' quarters, located on the Vorkuta River embankment. Would you be able to live in this half-abandoned Arctic town? You'd better learn to love the cold. Catholics honor the departed on November 2nd with All Souls Day, praying for the souls of their departed family and friends, often with visits to the graveyard. But what happens when the soul hasn't crossed over? 
Published by own vlogs, these paranormal investigators visited a haunted graveyard in order to answer that question. As the crew wanders around the cemetery's open graves, they suddenly see this vague pale figure in the distance. After glancing over several times at the figure, the men get too scared by its stillness and start running off. <laughs> Gathering some courage, they turn and look back. The figure is still there. They run off again and straight out of the cemetery. Was this a soul that hadn't yet crossed over? Or just a graveyard statue? In any event, this is one scary video that went horribly wrong. A YouTuber named BR Henry 16 is deep in a Southern California mine when he sees a pale light off in the distance. The light doesn't have the intense brightness of modern electronics. Instead, it looks dim and swings at waist level, kind of like an old lantern would have. BR Henry 16 is sure that this is the spirit of a cave miner, and I would have to agree. Let me know if you think the same, or if you believe this portion of the video was staged. Michael Luongo catches a shapeless form floating around his basement that he can't explain. You can see it best during the first five seconds of the video, when one half stands out against the stabs. It's also barely visible in the reflection of the television here at 10 seconds. And when Michael turns back at the stairs, it's already gone. I'm thinking that there might be something wrong with the camera to make this blurry object appear. But then again, it does happen to be floating right above this access panel behind the sofa. So maybe Michael should open it up and see if anything is waiting for him in the wall. The last place you want to hear screaming is in a cemetery in the darkness of night. That's what YouTuber Thrills heard when he was visiting Fox Island Cemetery which is said to be haunted by a man in black. As they first enter the cemetery, they hear an unexplained hissing noise. Um, I will say, the other camera is a lot easier to hit. What the heck is that? It's not, yeah, not, I hear that too. And soon the screaming starts. Did you hear it again? Yeah, I just heard it. After moving along, they hear the screaming a second time. Is this right there? I definitely just heard something, yeah. And then a third directly after. I definitely just heard something, yeah. While this might be a wild animal or someone just hollering for the fun of it, it could also be the legendary Man in Black. I think he might just be toying with them. What is hiding in this deep dark cave in Romania? This crew of adventure seekers is about to find out. Watch closely in the darkness. <laughs> What is that lump? It looks like an animal sleeping. The guys appear scared of the mysterious creature, and they start to make their way out of the cave. Their camera goes berserk. Did they just escape from the cave creature of Romania Borsec? Personally, I think this was just a trick of the light, but I still get the chills from this clip. I'm staying far away from caves either way. This young fawn has contracted an illness that is most likely CWD. It alters between standing paralyzed in place and spinning in circles, its neck rotating wildly all the while. At times it looks like its neck is going to snap, like here for instance. Maybe it is even trying to put itself out of its own misery. One thing that's strange is that this deer seems to prefer standing in areas with sunlight. Whether or not this sunlight seeking behavior is based on instinct or actually provides some sense of relief is hard to tell for sure. And there is literally sounds coming in my basement right now and it's freaking me out. Kids are upstairs asleep 
and uh, I'm gonna go down and check right now this is this is freaky right now because I rarely go in my basement it's an unfinished basement a youtuber named an everyday Canadian has been afraid of his basement ever since he recorded an incident that he cannot explain oh what the f is that sound Fear grips his throat, but he knows what he must do. He'll never know what's causing the scary noises if his only reaction is to stand in the doorway. He knows he will be going down the stairs into the basement where a scary thing is waiting to be found. Like, I don't even want to go down there. It's dark. Hold on, guys. Let me just get my light on here quick. This is freaking me out. He thought the only thing scarier than going down there would be not knowing what it was. He was wrong. I hate basements. My laundry machine just stopped. It's just me in the basement. What the f was that? What the f Sometimes the source of a weird noise in your house is scarier than you can imagine. Sometimes going down in your basement results in witnessing paranormal activity that you wish you could erase from your camera and from your mind. And sometimes it's a toy on a string. This woman found her toy doll in a disturbing state, so she contacted YouTuber Luan Mendez to help her. <laughs> Shared by YouTube channel Blah Blah, this video is trending in the Arabic speaking YouTube community. After these guys come to take a look, they find this cellar. They hear something banging on the lid. So they climb in to investigate. Cuidado. The doll of horror is inside, but after stepping away from the horror doll for a minute, this happens. Ah, boneca tá do mesmo jeito. Cadê a boneca? Cadê a boneca, Pia? Que que foi? Cadê a boneca? Cadê a boneca? Tava aqui agora. Pô, ela tava ali, irmão, ó. It disappears. Where did the doll go? Was it possessed by something? Or did some slick soul do this to her? I have a theory. I think the doll was being used as a voodoo doll. That still doesn't explain where it disappeared to. But have no fear. The horror doll always returns. Luan. Júlio, ela é Although you and I were probably not hoping for an encore for this one, there needs to be an explanation for these strange lights posted to the r slash ghost subreddit. Paleontologist Key440 captured the security footage in his backyard. He writes that the property has been super active since they moved there in 2016. And this footage is from May of 2021, which must mean these types of occurrences are nothing new. The footage shows lights hovering and flashing, first to the left of the frame, and then on both sides simultaneously. Some in the comments think they're fireworks, but one user remarked that there is no smoke. What do you think it is? Extraterrestrial or paranormal? I don't think either option is very ideal. If you do a seance in a haunted home, expect the spirits to come out to play. Published by Ali H in March of 2022, something is wreaking havoc in this haunted house. 
After seeing this unexplained mess in their kitchen, this couple was left wondering who is responsible. I closed the gate. I closed the gate. I closed the gate. Maybe it's this weeping spirit. Do you hear that? Later, Allie is in another room of the home when a loud thud sounds from the next room. He goes to check it out and finds the spirits have made another tornado of a mess. <laughs> oh, no. He tries to communicate with the poltergeist through a spirit box, and as he's recording, the spirit pulls up a chair. Oh my <laughs> Later, Ali hears someone or something coming up the stairs. Are the spirits gathering round? It certainly seems like it. When police officers stopped to assist a car that had broken down on the side of Southeast Loop 820 in Forest Hill, Texas, they probably weren't thinking this was a super risky call, but they'd be wrong, as the three police officers and two motorists awaited a tow truck, lights flashing, a vehicle sped at top speed towards them, completely out of control, and they nearly didn't notice until it was too late. You can see in the video that the group is oblivious to what is about to happen until one officer spots the vehicle flying in their direction. Just in time to throw the group out of harm's way, the car sideswiped one police car, slammed head on into another, and barely avoided the broken down vehicle and all the people milling around on the shoulder. After plowing through, the rogue vehicle ricocheted back into traffic, but then returned to the roadside, where it screeched to a halt. When the car stopped, police hurried to remove the driver. Unsurprisingly, 26-year-old motorist Cedric Keith Henson Jr. had been drinking and was detained at the scene. Although no one was hurt, they very well could have been. Bonding with nature takes on a whole new meaning when creepy stuff like this happens. It's extremely rare to see that anywhere. Oh, what's God? Oh, oh, God. God. <laughs> 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 what did you just say? No, just grab it. A midday hike turns terrifying when a bat snuggles up in mom's hair. Anderton Explorer caught the entire creature sighting on camera. Now they have to figure out how to get it untangled. <laughs> Snapping their fingers to scare it off is a good idea, but the bat doesn't seem to care much. It spreads its wings, turns around, and marches towards her face. <laughs> The mom is getting really scared, and who wouldn't be when a bat is about ready to crawl up next to your ear? They have to save her. Would you be brave enough to do the same? Will you hold still? <laughs> the bat is off of her, but it stays near all their possessions. It's dazed, not moving at all, and then suddenly it flies up in her daughter's face and almost gets in her hair next. Something almost has to be wrong with it. This isn't normal behavior at all. Think about it. A nocturnal creature sighting in broad daylight is a bad sign. An animal that is normally afraid of humans landing directly on one is even worse. The bat might have had rabies. If so, it was probably trying to get at her, but couldn't find its way through her hair. So with that in mind, this video becomes even scarier when you realize it could have been unknowingly poking for nearly three minutes straight at a bat that could potentially have rabies. The whole family was treating it like a joke, when in reality they could have gotten a serious case. In their defense, they do say in the comments that they saw the bat fly back into its cave. 
though how exactly that makes it any less likely to have rabies or not is something I don't understand. Maxime is on a mission to communicate with the spirits in this house, published by Realized Alterna in April of 2022 and originally published by YouTuber Paranormal Point. This ghost hunter may have made contact with the fiery depths below. As he begins his session at night, something begins to play the piano. A doll is mentioned through the spirit box, and outside this window he sees creepy glowing eyes. When he asks about the doll, he is simply told to find her, and finds her he does. He asks what the doll's name is and receives a scary answer. He is told to do a ritual with the doll. As he's told it's dangerous here, he hears strange screams. <laughs> He later lights the doll ablaze as part of the ritual. As he does, it raises its arm by itself. Is there anything more terrifying than this? Here's hoping the demon was exorcised. This footage, published by Paranormal World in August of 2019, shows a scenic mountain and forest opposite an overpass. After completing a full 360 to take it all in, the camera falls to the cars whizzing past below before returning to the mountain. This time, the mountain isn't the only thing carving out the sky. A Godzilla-like creature peeks out from behind the mountain. At first, one might mistake it for the mountain itself, but it slowly begins to move, voiding that theory. While many in the comments say this is a good edit, some are more concerned by the man's reaction. YouTuber Dap writes, if there is a Godzilla, you are running, not chewing gum. That's probably true, although other people note that the creature is friendly, so perhaps the cameraman had no need to fear him. Still, seeing a creature the size of a mountain would probably get your heart pumping, friendly or not. If you plan to ghost hunt in a haunted forest, prepare to meet your doom. YouTuber Kelsey Davies and her crew encountered several paranormal events in their forest ghost hunt. First, she hears a woman's voice. I just heard a woman humming. That sounds more like a shout than a hum to me. Apparently, Kelsey saw her too. She was crouched down by the creek, humming, with no shoes on. As they approach the creek in question, Susie feels like she was pushed. You guys don't push me. I didn't. What? What? Someone pushed you? Stop. So <laughs> where did I swear. Don't push me. I didn't. It was him. He's staying right here. <laughs> did someone push did someone Susie? Push you? Don't push me. When asked if somebody tried to push Susie into the water, the spirits have an answer for Kelsey. I heard yes, and then it said we are coming. Are you guys coming? While they continue to speak through the spirit box, one of them hears the name Susie. Why? I heard Susie. I swear oh my to God, I heard really? Susie. <gasps> oh, I said, yep. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> It seems this spirit is out to get Susie. Right behind you, whoever. I can't even speak right now. Oh, that's it, I'm here. Yeah. That's it, I'm it here. It literally said I'm here. The spirits repeat their intentions. What the? I'm coming. That was, that was we're all coming. That, was a, that literally that like said we're all coming. Voice, though. That was not like a regular no, voice. That no. was like a demonic voice. That was really bad. And their thirst for Susie doesn't end there. Oh my that's Susie. Susie. Yeah. You heard that? Yeah. I heard that's my second time. Why do they want me so bad? 
I think this is a valid question. Why are the spirits coming after Susie? And did the ghost woman by the creek try and push Susie into the water? If I were her, I'd take this as a sign to get the heck out of there. This ghost sighting will send chills down your spine. Published to YouTube by TechWorld TV in August of 2014, this video shows a haunted Hindu cremation site. A man arrives at this site in India to investigate a local story. According to the man, he was walking down this dirt road when he saw an entity at this place. The investigator explains that passed away individuals are taken there for their last rites. Nobody lives here, apart from packs of stray dogs. As the man navigates around the puddles on the wet road to approach the ceremonial sites, dogs start barking like crazy at a distance. In this place. This place. Then the man shouts that he just saw an entity floating from the building further back. Upon closer inspection of the video, you can see the white vapor the man is talking about. It appears in the darkness under the veranda before floating up and then vanishing. While some point out the vapor moves simultaneously with the camera. One Redditor, Ricky Jaikaran notes, I would have said it was a smudge on the camera if the dogs hadn't started to bark at the same time. What do you think? Coincidence or a spirit ascending? Beware of the shadows. When at Donovan Mill, the historic mining site in Silver City, Nevada, has a reputation, and it's not a good one. At least one documented incident of someone taking their own life has been recorded there. Perhaps it's the spirit from this unfortunate history that lingers in the mill. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, Facts by James TV writes, At 24 minutes 30 seconds, you could see a shadow-like figure down the hallway. At the very same space, it is known to be haunted by a spirit named John that is very protective about that area. At the timestamp in question, you can see what James is talking about. He said he felt a presence, so they stopped and shined the flashlight down at the end of the hall. A small shadow figure appears there. Casting light down that way doesn't make it disappear. What do you think about this creepy catch? Would you have the guts to venture down the hall to investigate? A YouTuber named Ben S is low on gas so he pulls into a nearby station. He always wears a GoPro helmet when riding. And as he is fumbling with the card reader at the pump, it records something that he will have a tough time explaining later. A shadow passes by close enough to make Ben react. He turns around only to find nothing. What's really strange to me is how, if you pay close attention, you'll see the shadow disappear before it even makes it all the way across the pump. It's going from left to right normally and then suddenly vanishes somewhere in the middle. I know that shadows can sometimes play tricks on you, so I'm not going to say that this is 100% paranormal. If you have a scientific explanation as to how this could have happened, please share. Until then, I am inclined to take Ben's word that this was a phantom figure. Do you take this ghost bride to be your lawfully wedded wife? I don't. Published by Thiago Ferracao in April of 2022, this ghost hunter encountered a phantom bride that was forcibly married to her husband in this haunted church. This is what happened. As they first enter the church, an unseen force slams the door shut and moves a wooden bench with great force, and then the fun begins. The bride is first seen as they are attempting to communicate with her using a spirit box. Watch the door carefully in the background. A pale figure passes slowly. The pair don't notice it. Qual era o seu nome? Later, as they're told to leave, they see the figure face to face. Once they're standing outside the church, the figure is seen standing at the altar. As Thiago walks toward the church doors, they're slammed shut in his face. After watching this scary video, would you say I do?
Let me know in the comments. A team of cryptid hunters make a wild discovery deep in the woods of North Carolina. In the Uari National Forest is where they find a mysterious imprint that extends 13 inches long. They think this is not a footprint but a handprint with oversized knuckles at one end and a wide base of the palm at the other. Hey guys, I'll show you what we just found. We got us a 13 inch tracker just a little over. We sure did. We got toe prints. We got the break in the middle. Right here. Yes, sir. I kind of see what they mean, but I'm not sure if this is from a cryptid or not. It kind of looks like where a rock could have been or something. I'm also wondering why there aren't any prints to accompany this alleged handprint, but at the same time, I don't have a solid explanation for what caused this, and was wondering what you think about this extra creepy sighting in the woods. Well guys, so far we've found what looks like to be either handprint or knuckle prints again, and we just come across this track right here. So. That's awesome. That is awesome. Is this the portal to the fiery depths below? The team from Proving Demons thinks so. In this scary video, they're screaming back in the screaming house. As they prepare to communicate with the spirits, the spirits get there first. I'm, I'm not ready for this, but let's just do it. Oh, why is it starting? Shh. Why is it starting? Do you know what I'm about to do? Do you actually know what I'm about to do? The device was triggered and then a tap is heard, and now it's time for a scream with an Aztec whistle. In the distance they hear something. What the f Sounds like the death whistle. What's that? That sounded like the death whistle. Are you recording? Someone's outside. Someone's outside. Are you recording? Yes. So it's not just Are the spirits screaming back? They switch places to see if they're hearing the same thing. You blow on the top. Purse your lips around the top and blow into it with the megaphone in front of it. On a recording device, they hear the spirit laughing. Maniacal laughing. Is it laughing at their games? To me, the retaliatory screaming following the whistle does sound like someone is screaming back, but this laughter is the most unsettling part of the investigation in my opinion. What would you do if you came across this hairy humanoid in the wild? Published to YouTube in December of 2018, YouTuber Evangelica Salazar commented on the video, This is a duende. It's a humanoid creature that is rare and talked about throughout the years. These infamous creatures dress themselves and live in deep holes in caves slash forests. If this is indeed a duende, this strange folkloric creature's name comes from the Spanish phrase duende casa, which means professor of a house. Some describe the creature as a mischievous house guest. However, in other cultures, the hairy beast takes various turns. If this hairy creature is really a duende, you'd better watch where you step. Here's a video that shows how Randonautica can be scary without even trying. A YouTuber named Nolan goes randonauting with his friends in search of the color orange. The app takes them to two orange cones, no problem. Do you see that? Cones. Orange cones. <gasps> no Whoa. way. They are weirded out but not entirely convinced, so they decide to go randonauting for something more obscure that would be creepier to find. Like the number four. So we're doing a number? Yeah, okay. So Four. Not only do they find the number four prominently etched into a concrete handrail, but get this. The location that's given to them to find the number four. It's four minutes away. Is exactly four minutes away. Now they are getting creeped out and concentrate on a color that's hard to find in the countryside at night. The color blue. Not only does Randonautica take them to a pack of blue gum, when they go back to their car, 
They find out they were parked by an empty energy drink with blue lettering this whole time. This unbelievable capture occurred on a rural road in the middle of the night. Published by Scary Desk in September of 2021, a crew was driving to an unknown location when this happened. The semi-transparent figure appears to fall directly from the sky. It stays in place for a moment before shortly vanishing. Is this a phantom? CGI? Or do you have another theory? I guess this just goes to show you never know what you're gonna see when you look up at the sky. A YouTuber named Texas Savage has traces of paranormal activity left outside her bedroom door, or so she claims. Look at this part and tell me if you can see what she means, and if you can't see it, it's much more apparent in this next video of hers that I'm about to show. You can see it a bit better here, as she points out the individual fingers and notices the lack of a thumb. Here's one, here's one, and here's one, but there's no thumb. In this next video taken on a different day, you can get a better look at the handprints and see how long the fingers really were, far too big to be on her own. And since she claims to live alone, it can't be anyone else unless someone has been going into her bedroom without her knowing. On this day, she also finds some fresh scratches not too far from where the handprint is. And while inspecting the rest of her house, she finds two new marks at the bottom of her bathroom door that are perfectly aligned, almost like eyes. If you don't think this is real, then what do you think caused this? Just like all of the other markings, she can recall nothing happening in this room to make them appear overnight. Nothing good happens at 3 a.m. This TikTok posted by Diego Speckers is yet another example of that. Just watch. <laughs> wow, that's pure nightmare fuel. What was that child doing there, amongst the hanging laundry? <laughs> its black inky eyes are a real giveaway. This thing's a demon. As the person backs off, you see it again for a split second in the gap. But there's nothing below for this thing to stand on. Don't know about you, but I think this is the real deal. Definitely a demon. Another reason to leave 3 a.m. to the owls. This place needs signs saying, do not enter. Published in May of 2022, Hassan Barbar is searching through an abandoned building. When he sees this dark figure through a window, it looks like a djinn. The figure quickly moves out of view. And when Hassan enters the room, he is gone. Hassan locks himself inside the now empty room, but it seems like something is still in the room with him. He spies something written on the wall. Is it a message from the djinn? He turns to look in this cupboard again, and the lights are again messed with, and that's not the only havoc in the room. As he looks around, he turns back to the overhanging lights, and suddenly there's a bucket covering one of them. When he reaches up to touch the light, it's almost like he's electrocuted. Something then obscures his camera. It's the bucket from the light. What is happening here? Hassan is not sure, but I suspect it's the djinn's handiwork. The San Antonio Cemetery in Texas could be one of the scariest places in the world. To go exploring if this video is real, a ghost hunter from the Paranormal Journal stands in total darkness when some creepy things are caught on camera, and despite the lack of light, what he experiences is downright terrifying. His paranormal equipment detects movement and then a single word crackles across the spirit box in an odd, staticky voice. 
He never shows us exactly where he positioned the motion detection equipment, so it could be detecting his movement or a gust of wind for all we know. But here's something weird. If you look closely, there is a strange phantom light at 29 seconds, the same moment that the motion detection alarm goes off that soon fades away. I would say there's another investigator, but I think that he might have been exploring the haunted cemetery all alone that night. If so, I have no idea what this light is, and even if it was a member of his team, that still doesn't explain the odd voice moments later that says hello. A boy records the scenic view outside of his window, as passengers often do. When he looks up to record an oncoming plane, he accidentally picks up a fast-moving disc-like object traveling in the opposite direction. Whoa. Whoa, did you Looking at it frame by frame, the small flat rectangle is abnormal and does not change shape or gain detail as it moves across the screen. It's definitely not wildlife, and it's too small to be a drone, not to mention up way too high. So what could it be, aside from the possible UFO? Others have pointed out that the trail left behind by the other plane looks odd as well. I think it looks like normal vapor trails created by engine exhaust, but I could be wrong. Does it look suspicious to you? And do you think these two events, the UFO and the other plane, could somehow be related? With a name like Forest of the Black Cross, this place is bound to experience some shady supernatural happenings. Captured and published to YouTube in July of 2021, the crew are filming at night in the dark and haunted forest, and what they encounter does appear to be supernatural. Something is disturbing the forest, and as they zero in on it, they spot the dreaded figure amongst the thick brush. The scary footage captures the face of a wild beast with glowing orange eyes, sharp features, and a gray tone. It looks unlike any other forest creature, and unlike any human figure at that, the crew rightly freaks out, and as a deep growl rumbles through the forest, they flee as fast as their legs will carry them. As they race away, howling is heard into the night. <coughs> Were they really faster than this werewolf, or did the wolf simply find other more alluring prey? Elliot Mosqueda has a motion sensor cam in his living room that at first glance appears to go off for no reason. Look at the television though to see someone crossing the room. I can see the black reflection of this square poster in the television, so it definitely really was the same background. The question is if it's real or edited. YouTuber named Jason L is rock climbing with his friend Kevin when they come across a narrow and claustrophobic crevice. Not wanting to get left behind, Jason follows Kevin's lead, but his resolve weakens considerably about midway through. Kind of wishing we didn't come in here, Kevin. Boy, I'm pretty terrified. Barely 10 seconds later, Jason takes the worst step of his life. Oh no. Here, give me the camera. My foot's stuck. My foot's stuck. <laughs> I'm so serious, I can't move. After some initial panic, he steps out of his shoe and manages to dislodge it. After some effort with both hands, look again and you can see what would have happened if Jason L had tripped and fallen forward. Instead of stepping out of his shoe, it's a sharp drop down a series of spiky rocks that could have easily resulted in shattered bones and an emergency airlift. This elevator video from 2012 was taken late at night at an undisclosed location. The space is completely empty until a woman with long dark hair and a dirty nightgown appears out of nowhere with her head down. She stands in place for less than 10 seconds before the security camera suddenly glitches out and shuts off. Two months later, the video was leaked to the public and posted online. This leaked video might be fake because it almost looks like a stereotypical Hollywood version of a ghost. Then again, as CCTV cameras continue to improve in quality, 
It would only make sense for the spirits to show more detail as well. This next one will make anyone terrified of exploring the backwoods ever again. Redditor Mutt Magician shares this pair of creepy videos to Reddit. He writes, I was in the backwoods of Oklahoma when I found a random shed full of children's clothes and dolls. Unfortunately, this was all I filmed. The video shows a doll missing a leg and with its head and arms discolored with dirt. It seems like the doll is quite fragile because he breaks it with a small squeeze. The Redditor writes that after finding the doll, he explored further and found an abandoned shed with children's clothes, dolls, and backpacks. In a follow-up video, the Redditor takes viewers to where he found this abandoned shed. For some reason, I kept expecting a jump scare in this follow-up. While I didn't jump, I think this is incredibly scary. What were these dolls there for? Why were they in such disrepair? I have so many questions about this one, and very few answers. Somebody's watching you. Posted to Instagram by Henry Cavill. This clip is seemingly just a simple, albeit incredible, instructional video in which Superman actor Henry Cavill puts together a gaming PC. But not everything is as it seems, as Henry pieces this monster together, sharing his expertise, the project turns into an all-day event and darkness falls outside. That's when you see this eerie face in the window. In the comments, Memes Like One points it out to Henry, writing, There is a creepy face behind the window. What is that? Well, Cavill has no answer, Miss Nightmare does, suggesting it might be a ghost or a lurker. Well, Danny Maiden thinks it's a Joker painting. What do you think it is? Just an altogether eerie reflection? Or is something or someone lurking on Henry? Do you take this ghost bride to be your lawfully wedded wife? I don't. Published by Thiago Ferracao in April of 2022. This ghost hunter encountered a phantom bride that was forcibly married to her husband in this haunted church. This is what happened. As they first enter the church, an unseen force slams the door shut and moves a wooden bench with great force. And then the fun begins. The bride is first seen as they are attempting to communicate with her using a spirit box. Watch the door carefully in the background. A pale figure passes slowly. The pair don't notice it. Qual era o seu nome? <laughs> Later, as they're told to leave, they see the figure face to face. Once they're standing outside the church, the figure is seen standing at the altar. As Thiago walks toward the church doors, they're slammed shut in his face. After watching this scary video, would you say I do? Let me know in the comments. Two friends are just kidding around when one of them goes running up the steps laughing and smiling. Probably to grab the camera, I guess. There's a pause as if the two of them see something, and then a scream that doesn't match their playful laughter seconds ago. <laughs> Most people agree that she was just being silly and slipped, but others feel she was dragged down by something that was with them both. She doesn't scream as she falls, but it happens so fast that she might have been too surprised. It's after hours at a hardware store when this red balloon floats into view for no reason at all. The store owner doesn't notice anything out of the ordinary. As he makes his way to a shelf to price some items, the balloon stays in place for approximately 15 seconds, which is already weird enough. 
but then once his back is turned, it steadily moves in his direction and even slowly floats to eye level, where it stays behind him for a long time. When he still doesn't notice, it actually floats around to cut him off. According to the owner, the air conditioning was turned off and there was no draft in the building, so there really should be no way for this balloon to be moved at all. Besides, he doesn't even sell them to begin with and has no idea how one floated into a closed store. Amy Admin wonders if an actual apparition was caught on home security camera haunting her place. Her strange sighting happened at 7 in the morning. A vaguely human-shaped figure walks to the curb and mysteriously disappears. Some scary stuff is going on across the street from her house. Or is it? Perhaps it is a reflection of a car hitting the brakes. The alleged apparition does seem to come and go with the appearance of a car. The only problem with this theory is that there's nothing here for the brake lights to reflect off of. Maybe a piece of glass on the ground or something. So what's been caught on tape? Paranormal activity or a trick of light? I don't know and now I'm as creeped out as Amy Admin is. Redditor Everyone is Human shared the following video to Reddit with a short read up that says, My sister-in-law's ring camera captured this tonight. I have never been a believer, but I am struggling to dismiss this. Please weigh in on it. So let's have a look and see if we can help the uploader in figuring out what was filmed on the camera that night. So, I need you to focus your attention, so if we're looking at the center beam here, about dead center on the center beam, and then to the left, about halfway in between this center beam and this beam here, and you just see that thing just move. Alright, now it's, now it's between these two beams, just huffing it down the sidewalk, still on camera here. But it looks like whatever this is, it, it almost looks like the ghost of somebody out for an evening jog as it starts on the left side of the sidewalk here and just continues down the sidewalk for the entire video. Whatever it is almost appears kind of translucent as well. You'd think if it was just a person, like an actual person out for a jog, it would be a lot more visible on camera. It would, it would just look like a, you know, just a regular person on camera. This almost looks not only translucent, lucent but it's kind of floating in the air. I can definitely see why this uploader, who is usually a skeptic when it comes to this sort of thing, is having a hard time coming up with a logical explanation of what exactly happened on the security footage. It certainly looks to be some sort of ghostly figure out for an evening stroll, but one can only hope that's not the case. Some viewers suggest that it could actually just be the camera that's making an ordinary person look like a ghost. Is this actually a ghost walking around in clear view or is this just a camera trick on a regular person i'll let you decide ghost tales published this video in 2013 the description reads dog senses a ghost in the room captured on film is the ghost actually throwing the ball The clip begins with a doll just staring into the living room, then all of a sudden she starts barking. She retreats into the kitchen, where her owner stands filming the strange event. The dog heads slowly back into the living room, sniffing around. She creeps back in, lifting a leg tentatively as she peers out into the living room. There appears to be something draped on the table and the dog starts barking towards it. The dog then picks up a ball it found on the floor and then gets distracted by something else she found on the floor. Then she hears a noise that makes her spring and stare at the thing on the table again. She sniffs around it and is distracted again by the ball. Although the dog in this video does seem to be spooked by something, it doesn't appear as if the ball was thrown at it. As the author claims, but if you see it in this clip, let us know in the comments. A slamming door wakes up Tiana Wilson and her family, who have long suspected their house to be haunted. They grab a camera and timidly go exploring upstairs. <laughs> 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 
shortly afterwards, an alarm fills the house and things get even creepier. What's that beeping? Oh, listen. No way. We need to go. That's what the beeping is. It's the fridge. <laughs> they shut the fridge and wonder how it was open in the first place. That's when their grandmother, who is staying with them for a few days, comes to see what the commotion is. Did you did you leave the fridge door open, Mom? I can't remember if I did. I know I went in and took a bucket of water out. Probably I did. The grandmother isn't sure if she left the fridge open or not. You've been sleeping, Ruby. Yes, in the, in the night down here, wake me up. I don't get up this time of morning. Is my mum a ghost? But she definitely didn't shut any doors. I swear it's about half past one. Oh, yeah. I can see something. And when they go back and review the video, they find a shadow figure staring at them from the end of the hallway. Freaky, right? YouTuber Stevanka, also known as Stephanie from 90 Day Fiance, is certainly no stranger to having bizarre moments caught on camera, but nothing could have prepared her for a creepy surprise like this. I don't really talk about paranormal stuff on my channel. The reality TV star thinks she could have possibly caught real evidence of a paranormal ghost sighting on her home CCTV system. Let's analyze the events and see if this spooky encounter is real or fake. One night, while entertaining her family, Stevanka casually opens up the security app to check her CCTV cameras. That's when she discovers some mysterious activity going on in front of her house. Eventually, it dawns on me like, that's a figure of a person. Within 10 seconds, the bizarre figure seems to transform into a solid white, ghostly floating form. Stavanka herself alternates between believing and not believing the activity is paranormal. I don't want to get anything wrong, so these are her exact words at 6 minutes and 10 seconds. I think it's a ghost. Everyone I've talked to, everyone I've showed it to, even skeptics are like, that's a ghost. So she thinks it's probably paranormal, which is fair, but I do have a theory. The porch light and the lamp post are reflecting light back into the camera, which could create this bizarre effect in the middle. But with that said, Stavanka has tried to recreate this scary moment many times, and she has a legitimate question. Maybe it was a, a glitch, but then like if it was a glitch, then why did it stop? Like why did it only happen that one night? I can't say for sure, but I suspect that one of the lights was out when she tried this again. I think both of the lights have to be on at the same time for this bizarre occurrence to happen. But if she did replicate this under the exact same lighting conditions and saw nothing, then it would prove that this is a mysterious figure caught on tape after all. Does this creepy doll have special powers? Published by Indra Saputra Official. In April of 2022, something certainly happens inside this haunted place. While the camera shows that the couch is empty, when Indra backs up, look who is sitting in the darkness alongside the doll. Indra doesn't see the ghoul and casts his camera around. When he turns back to the sofa, the figure has vanished. Later, he opens the door and looks down the hallway. Is that her again? I don't want to stick around to find out. Is there someone hiding out of sight in this wreckage? Published by PH Red Fox, Yoon Sai Won is exploring an abandoned house in Korea when he hears this sound. Is it an animal? A dog? He breaks out his EMF meter, which starts going haywire. He says it's not useful here because they're at the location's deepest point. Using facial recognition software, a scary face is recognized where there seems to be no one. It's recognized again, closer to him this time. Oh. 
Later, while using a spirit box, Saiwan gets the fright of his life. A bang is heard coming from someone unseen. A short while later, he is visited again by the spirit. <laughs> but he sees nothing, and no one amongst the mass. Is Saiwan being stalked? And if so, by what? Wanda Chance is riding down the road when she sees a stranger who looks out of place. He is wearing a floor-length black cloak and holds his hands in front of him, possibly making a symbol. Wanda is suspicious of him and they drive by again. I think he looks like he might just be a regular teenager, sporting a gothic clothing style and look. But Wanda notices a long and pointy ear at 1 minutes and 14 seconds and questions if he is really a person at all. What do you think about this sighting? Sure, it's strange, but is this just a person with an uncommon fashion style for the area or a visitor from somewhere far off trying their best to fit in? Little male, you out here? Spectators gaze overhead at a bizarre white light piercing the sky. Adults and children alike gather in the street with their cell phones out. None of them can figure out what is going on, much less put the situation into words. The whole ordeal almost looks like a helicopter searchlight except that it makes no noise and does not move at all. A NASA experiment or even a portal to an alternate dimension are two more possibilities, however unlikely they may be. Whatever this is, it happened somewhere over California in October of 2018 and has never been properly explained. If you're going to enter an abandoned hospital, you better have some patience because you might just come across some squatters. Ruin Road published this footage in April of 2017 writing, Sketchiest Encounter Yet. The footage was taken at United Community Hospital, an abandoned hospital in Detroit, Michigan. Even approaching the building is haunting. Regardless, the team heads inside, and it looks just about how you'd imagined it. Hollowed out graffiti on every surface, water dripping from who knows where. As they explore the abandoned hospital, they find graffiti with an arrow pointing down some stairs. They head down to find a long, creepy room, the morgue. But it isn't until later in their exploration that they shine their flashlight and camera into a room and hear a voice. Hi. It grunts and the YouTuber responds with a hi, and then quickly turns to leave. Their pace quickens to a double step and then a run, as whomever they just encountered seems to be in hot pursuit. We're getting out of here right now, the cameraman says downstairs and outside in the much less creepy light of day. The cameraman is called over by another man and given a lecture about how he's trespassing on this site. Apparently, the man who they'd run into on the second floor of the building was watching this exchange from above and yelled down to the man on the ground, you're not supposed to be here either. The man on the ground, who claims to be a worker, then proceeds to offer the YouTuber a tour of the building for a little cash. The worker claims that they're redeveloping the building, knocking down walls but keeping the steel frame intact. I'd have to agree with the consensus in the comments of this video that El Toro was not in fact a security guard or a worker. At a once bustling market turned ghost town in China, this lone figure was captured on camera. Published by Paranormal Planet in February of 2020, the video shows a mysterious fog shadow moving into view. As Chinese lanterns hang all around, swaying with the wind, the figure moves across the walkway before it disappears from sight. The uploader writes, This footage was spotted by the person responsible for monitoring the street cameras. Is this a ghost? Or has the Grim Reaper come for us all? This retro arcade room is ruined by faulty wiring, or else a real ghost. To demonstrate, the owner picks up the remote to his ceiling fan and turns the light off. Oh, 
there it is, wow. The lights somehow turn on by themselves despite not touching the remote at all. At four seconds, we can see the nearest light switches all the way across the room from the distinctive shark skateboard that he's now standing by, so he couldn't have hit that himself, and no one else is with him. Then, not only does the fan turn on by itself, but it also kind of goes the wrong way for a little bit first, which I don't think is normal. In a different video, the light looks much brighter than before, yet returns to normal brightness when turned off and back on. This time, he turns the light out and leaves the remote on the wall. He steps out towards the middle of the room, and the light comes back on before he even gets a chance to properly set up his camera. Based on what I've seen here, I think these videos are real, because nothing stood out as blatantly fake. If this house is haunted, let's just hope it's not a malevolent spirit. After all, you wouldn't want to give up an arcade setup that nice. While camping out at this haunted castle, a wrestling is heard in the forest. Published by Exploring with Fighters, this YouTuber is exploring the abandoned ruins of Liverpool Castle. Being hundreds of years old, these castle ruins are bound to be haunted and they're about to give the explorer a taste of fear. As he tries to sleep, his dog is alerted to a rustling sound outside their tent. What's she doing a goose impressions? She started doing a goose impressions because there's a weird noise coming towards us. Noting that an owl has kept him up all night, the explorer was wide awake already, and even more so when the mysterious noise seems to be coming toward them. An owl has kept me awake most of the night. While the suspense builds, nothing reveals itself, leaving us to wonder what was lurking outside the explorer's tent. Was it man or beast? Or something else? This poltergeist is about to throw down. Redditor What I Imagine shares this video of a very aggressive ghost. Due to the poltergeist's aggression, I'm convinced that this isn't staged. How can anything but the paranormal act unseen with such aggression? Many in the comments think this video was staged with fishing line. Hmm, I don't know though. It looks pretty compelling to me. Thank you so much for getting me to 30,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 40,000 subscribers next. Thank you.